Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the key to a great sex life and practical ideas that you can try. If we're just meeting, my name is Lisa Kusima and I'm passionate about building strong families. So feel free to subscribe to this channel to see great videos like this. Let's go. Now the key is to talk openly about sex with your partner. Now before you say that's basic information, I already know that, give me some time, let me walk you through. I want you to be specific with how you communicate with your partner. Now we're talking about sex. So I'm going to share with you a few statements that you can, you know, talk about with your spouse that are going to just help ease the way sex is talked about. The first one, I feel sexually aroused by you when dot 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 so you get a chance to speak and then allow your partner also time to tell you what arouses them is it like when i'm singing you know they feel aroused is it when you're dancing that's when your partner feels aroused is it when you see him working you know he's all in his work mode and then you you know it somehow it just gets you it just gets you there so you just want to be specific so that when you when you're getting into sex you know your partner knows the things that are going to just get you there. That is the first statement you want to use when communicating about sex. The second statement you want to use is, when we are making love, I really enjoy it when... Dot, dot, dot. Again, you're taking, you know, a turns with your partner. So you want to be specific. When you're in the act of making love, what exactly are you enjoying? You know, because many times people don't talk about these things. You just pretend everything is going well, and then you're not happy, you're frustrated at the end of the whole session because you didn't tell your partner what actually you are enjoying. So it's very important that you get into these details. What does he enjoy during sex? What do you enjoy during sex? That is the second statement you want to use. We're going to statement number three. When we are making love, I feel uncomfortable when you da, 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 da. You know, so during that process, there are things that your partner may do. Remember, sex is a journey. You're trying to learn one another. So there are things that your partner may do to you that you feel uncomfortable. You're not, you're not quite amused by them. Don't keep quiet. This is the time. When you're talking about sex, this is the time to share what makes you uncomfortable. What are those things that I do? Is it when I touch your arm? Is it when I touch your feet? It's uncomfortable for you. Let him know. Let her know. This will actually help you erase all those awkward moments during sex. And before you know it, your sex life is off to a great start. Light bulb moments, Lisa. Did you know that honey is the only food that never goes bad? So maybe if you start calling him honey, the relationship may not go bad after all. <laughs> Ask me later. <laughs> the fourth statement you want to use is the surest turn off for me is like this one eh? it's not even uncomfortable it's turn off like you do it and i'm like if hey, session needs to close you need to discuss that thing you need to discuss those things that are a complete turn off for you some people if it's switching on the lights it's a turn off because they want to be in darkness so be clear so that your partner does not waste time the lights are on he thinks things are going on well and yet you're turned off because either i don't know different reasons why but the lights maybe are turned off different things so just get into those de get into those details all right yeah so if you're finding value if you're loving this video let me know show me some love by hitting that like button mm -hmm. you're getting closer you're getting closer now you want to know what is the surest turn on yes we've talked about turn off you want to know now what is the surest turn on is it when you wear lingerie oh now that one just turns me on properly eh? or is it you know so let him share and you as a woman also share what is the turn on is it when you you, you want him to dance a bit before the session maybe it's a turn on for you so just be open talk about these things and trust me trust me guys hey <laughs> you'll be giving me feedback i i hope you will <laughs> so that's the next statement you want to try and then the final statement is what you need to know about me when it comes to sex is dot 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 you know so examples like when it comes to sex personally i like 
to get into the act after a whole day's preparation. Mm -hmm. Or when it comes to sex, I have certain insecurities. Maybe I have certain fears about sex. So if you have certain fears, this is a time that you can get it. You can get with your partner to understand what are your fears. You know, why are you anxious when the time comes? So you just want to now broadly talk about you when it comes to sex. Like all those things that pertain to you when it comes to sex. Now you'll see that all these statements will do wonders in your communication about sex. We're not supposed to be uh, fearing our partners. They are our friend. So our spouses should be people that we can actually reach out to and go deeper in this matter of having great sex. This is going to actually elevate how you talk. It's going to elevate your communication. It's going to just make that relationship even much more stronger. So please, get talking about sex because it's the key to a great sex life. So I believe talking about sex is what actually makes it great in a marriage. Let me know in the comment section what you find as key in improving sex life in marriage. Share with us in the comment section. My name is Lisa Kusima and I'm here to inspire.